I'll talk briefly um, echoing some of what Mark has said. Just so grateful to all of the people who have supported me through this process and to Mark especially. Um, none of this would have been possible without him. Um, and as he mentioned, this is part of a larger art collaboration um, between Bowdoin and the town of Brunswick that he's been really <coughs> fundamental in initiating. Um, and so this piece is one of many that will be hopefully emerging throughout town through that. Um, and Mark himself has just given so much to this project. And to me as a student, um, and I'm, I can't say enough to that. Um, um, and I've learned so much through this process. <coughs> so I'll, I'll talk very briefly about the process of creating this painting, but I, I sort of want to let it speak for itself um, at this point. Uh, so as Mark mentioned, it has been a two and a half year endeavor um, and required a creative endurance that sort of goes beyond any other project I've ever done. Um, so back in the spring of 2011, when I designed it, uh, the piece began with a simple sketch of these two main characters that you see here, this young girl and elderly gentleman on the bench here in the foreground, maybe her grandfather, uh, I don't know. Um, and at the time I was brainstorming, sketching images of a bunch of different characters um, to tell a story about the community of Brunswick. And these two um, really resonated with me or just felt right. Um, I like that they bring together the multiple generations of the community of Brunswick. Um, I like too that they're very much connected and aware of each other at the same time that they're very sort of solitary. Um, they're there together, but um, yeah, also sort of on their own, have their own separate story. Um, and you'll notice too that the young girl is the only character in the piece who looks out at us. So she is our sort of guide into the piece, and this um, scene is in many ways her world. Um, so so the my inspiration began with these two, and then I sort of grew the piece outwards from them. Um, and the characters and composition evolved through a series of drawings, which Mark mentioned, um, building in size to an actual size drawing, and then this final painting, which is itself several layers of painting, um, I began with what's called an underpainting, um, which is a monochromatic version of the final image um, painted in a warm burnt sienna tone that you'll see percolating through moments in the final paint. Um, and I like the unity that that gives to this final painting and also the sense of human life um, that it that it gives to the, the portraits and the various people throughout the painting. Um,